how to create a navigation bar in Canva Easy Tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a website, then you can create a navigation bar only from a free platform called Canva. This is canva.com. All you have to do is to, for example, go to websites. Then uh, these are the templates that you will have. You can choose, for example, uh, by category or something like this. But in my case, I have already uh, created a website. Then I will only have to publish it. Then I will uh, modify it to get a navigation bar. Now for the canva.com, sorry for the inconvenience. This is my website that I have created. Now, as you can see, I have already two buttons. Uh, this is a published website. You can uh, either republish or create, create your own website. Canva give you the option to uh, create five URLs or five unique URL, URLs in the free version. So you can create five URLs or five pages or five websites. Then you can link them all together or uh, make each one independent from the other. And now let's say here that we have three pages. This is the main page. This is the second page and this is the third page. I have, for example, a fourth and fifth and sixth page. Now let's, for example, uh, create this page and name it. Uh, let's say I will make this page named uh, uh, contact, contact, for example, contact room. I will uh, shorten it on contact only for the sake of the video. This, for example, I will put another design. I will name it uh, about, about. This is like this, and then I will put this page and make it, uh, for example, let's name it room, only room, like this. We have now three independent pages. Each one is named contact room, one is about, and the third one is room. Now let's go back to our first page. All I have to do is to create a text for example, a text box, I can name it, for example, contact, contact, for example, like this, and I will make the color darker, contact like this, I will create another box and name it, what did we name the next, the room, for example, let's start with room, like this, and finally, you can duplicate this item and rename it, just you have to rename it, I will give it a name of the about, about, I will name the about, it is just simple like this, now, these three items are not clickable. I will preview or I will make the preview of the website. You can see that the website is uh, set up. This page uh, or the home button is set up. I, it is clickable. The reach out is clickable also because I set them up uh, before I have made this video. And the contact room and about are not clickable. They are just floating texts. So in order to make them guide you to these particular pages, all you have to do is to go here back. Then you select the item. You click on the three dots right here. For example, then you click on link. Now we go to the Untitled, which are uh, named uh, contact. I will link it to this part. I will click on done. Then I will go to the room. I will 
do the same process, link it. I will go to the room uh, page. I will link it. Uh, and finally, the about. I do the same process, link it to the about page. Now, this is link it. Now, all I have to do is to publish. In your case, you have to publish your website, but in my case, I have only to republish the editing. It will be something like this. It will take a little moment to republish all of the modified settings. Now, where it is live right now, I will view my website. This is my website. As you can see, here are the pages that we have set. Now, before these buttons or these floating text were not clickable, now when I click on one of them, it will guide me directly to the page. This is the about, the room. It is direct me to the page room. And finally, the contact page. It is uh, directing me to this page. Now we have talked about how to link the uh, pages to the navigation bar. So let's suppose that we have another website that we want to link it to this part. And so, so when the viewers or the clients click on one of these, they will redirect them to, for example, a product page or uh, something like this, or the page that you want them to go to. Here, I click on edit the design. Now, I will search, for example, for a, let's take, for example, the Canva website. I will copy the link. I will get it right here. Then I will go back to the design section. I will click on the three dots. I will edit the link. Then I will uh, make or enter the link. I will delete this, then I will paste that link. It is looking like this. I click on done. Then I click on done again, and it will redirect us to Canva. Let's modify it and make it, for example, Canva home. This looks better. I will republish again like I did before. Then I will wait for a moment to apply the settings that I've made. It is right here. I will click on view website. You can see that it is not linked. I will assume that it didn't save. I will go to the edit design. I will go to edit link. Uh, I will click on done. Or I will create, for example, another link or for let's let's see, let's say that we have to add another uh, box. Let's name it home like this. Then we have to link it again. If it didn't work from the first time, you can put it on the next time you click on done. Now the done again, we have to uh, delete this item. It is not usable. You click on the publish website again, republish the same process repeated. It is not complicated. It is very simple. And we view the website. You can see here the Canva, the home button is clickable and will direct us to canva.com when we click it. And here you go. Thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one.